Yo, what's up guys, it's Arastol Commentary, coming here with another video. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and that's my intro for most of my videos now, just because I don't make that many videos anymore, and it's true. Um, the main reason I'm not making that many videos is this really because I'm not really motivated to make videos anymore. Um, I'm not sure why, in the beginning I was really enjoying making videos and things like that, but it's just not really that enjoyable for me to make anymore. Um, I'll try to make more videos more often now, but um, there's nothing really to make videos of, because I rarely slay anymore. Um... I'm only like 77 Slayer, yeah, 77 Slayer. What I mainly do on RuneScape now is this boss PVM. I have now gotten 95 prayer, and I'm saving up for Herblore currently to get overloads because I've been doing a lot of bandos, and when I say a lot of bandos, I mean yesterday I got at least 1k bando skills. I was doing with my friend, um, me and my friend were live streaming it. Um, if you want to watch my live streams, I live stream quite a bit, like every weekend I'll be live streaming probably. During the week, maybe not that much. If I do uh, stream during the week, it's going to be um, maybe like a couple hours just doing a little slayer, a little bossing here and there. Um, but I'm really getting into bossing again because in EOC, um, bossing is really, it's just fun for me. I like bossing in EOC more, to be honest. I know a lot of people don't like EOC, but I'm one of the people who actually liked EOC. I didn't like want EOC to come out in the beginning, but when it came out, like it made combat a lot funner for me. Obviously, during slayer, I use momentum for most of my, oh god. Shit, anti-fire! This is what just happened like 15 minutes ago. I didn't anti-fire because I was AFKing, watching a runes uh, someone's RuneScape videos. Um, I looked over and I was dead. Um, you know, it happens. I got a Kirito rings though, it's all good. I could teleport back in like one second. Uh, it really doesn't matter. I just gotta repair these for like 100, 250k now. I currently have 26 mil. I was at like 0 GP before this weekend started. And me and my friend got... We're splitting half the- since it's double loot weekend this weekend, me and my friend were splitting the drops. We got a Bando's Gloves drop, we got a Bando's Boot drop, we got a Bando's War Shield drop, which was my drop only because, um, he was, uh, what should I call it? He was there before I got there, and he got a Bando's War Shield drop, and then when I got there, a couple kills in, I got a Bando's War Shield drop. So we just decided to keep the, the War Shields ourselves. Those sold- both of them sold for about 6 mil, they're about 3 mil flat. They're crashing because of the double drop weekend. Everybody's selling out their items um, that they get from double drops. Or just people um, panic selling their items, I guess. That's another reason that they could be selling them. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing some Slayer at the moment because my buddy is an on that I boss with. Um, I only boss with him pretty much now, even though I have a PVM clan. Uh, me and him are pretty much maxed offense-wise, other than my attack level. Uh, I need to get 99 attack, really. It helps out a lot. Like, he gets a lot of the kills because he just has that little, um, attack boost. Um, me and him are pretty much try-hard bossers, like, the whole time we're there. Um, we, like, pretty much raced the whole time. I was, we, uh, a comp keeper came with a Steel Titan, and me and my friend were still beating him. It was a free-for-all. We were not coin-sharing or anything just because we want effigies and stuff. And we were splitting the loots whenever we got them. We are just trading because there's enough time in between kills. Um, if you want a Vandals video, I can make a Vandals video for you guys, if you guys are interested in that, because I've been starting to boss now. Uh, I stopped Frost Dragons for money, obviously, because in EOC, Frost Dragons are just too much of a hassle. They're really hard to kill, and if you if you don't know what you're doing with defensive abilities, you need a shield. You can't go there without a shield, unless they, they nerfed them. They really buffed them hardcore when EOC came out, um, and I tried to do them for a couple trips. It was just not worth it. You lose money, pretty much, because you have to use so many prayer, uh, prayer potions and food. You need Sir Diamond Brews. Um, even if you're not using a yak, which is kind of sad. Um, I know that a lot of people quit because of EOC, and if you're one of the people who quit, I want to know your complete reasoning toward it. Um, it could be just because it's not the game you want to play anymore. I understand that completely, but just try it out. If you don't enjoy how EOC is, you can use momentum. Like you can see, I'm not clicking any of the abilities. You can minimize the hot bar. It doesn't matter. You could you could talk in the in the chat without. Um, as you can see, without hitting enter, whenever you have the hotbar minimized and you have momentum on, you only have to click a couple times every 20 minutes. It's not that bad. I'm just doing Slayer at the moment. Um, combat XP is faster, unless you don't want combat XP to be fast. I guess that's a minus for you then. Uh, a lot of bosses, you can camp at easier. They're more AFKable, other than having to spam ASDF, 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 you know. Um, but if you're a tryhard bosser, then obviously it's not going to be AFK at all. Um, because you have to be spamming the correct abilities, but still, that makes bossing a lot faster. I mean, I got a thousand kills in maybe, f I don't know, seven hours or maybe five hours or something like that. I don't know. 
but we were tried harding the whole time, so we just wanted to get good drops. And we were kind of dry, like, we got to drop every co couple hundred kills, which is really bad. Hopefully we get better luck this, maybe today, if he comes back on today. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm wondering if he's going to come back on today or not. Um, I'm hoping he does. Um, so yeah, maybe if he comes back today, I'll live stream a bit more of bossing. If not, I guess uh, I'll live stream maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll do some solo bandos, because bando, bando solo is possible easily. I don't use a shield at bandos just because if you use a shield, it decreases your damage per second you do. It's just not worth losing that DPS. Um, so, yeah. And, um, yeah, so. Hopefully, he'll get on. We could do some live streaming together. Um, the person who I boss with is educating on Twitch TV. He's not that popular, neither am I that popular on Twitch. Just because I kind of start, just started out, and it's kind of hard to get up there in Twitch, um, the view-wise and follow-wise and things like that. But I don't mind. As long as there's, there's one person watching or a couple people watching, I'm fine with that. Uh, what do I drop for this rune helm? I could pat that. Um, and I'm starting to Slayer tab. Um, I'm going to try and get 80 Slayer. I'm trying to get 80 plus all stats at the moment. Um, I'm not really sure how fast I can get that. I made a lot of uh, progress since last video. I've gotten a Unicorn. I've gotten Turmoil since last video. Um, I've gotten a... Hmm, what else have I gotten? Let's just say a crap little levels in there somewhere. I've gotten 97 Magic. 95 defense at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to get 99 defense and 99 attack. That shouldn't be hard to get, but I'm not training like any other methods other than Slayer and Bossing at the moment. Just because any other way of training combat really isn't worth it. Um, because like I don't really like just go and kill things. Um, like if you're doing Slayer, you're getting more XP because you're getting XP for your combat plus the uh, Slayer XP. If you're doing Bossing, you're getting XP plus you're getting the drops on the side that you can possibly get from Slayer. Or, um, bossing. I don't, I really don't find it, like, a good thing to go to, uh, Hellhounds and get, like, 300k XP an hour by doing, uh, Darox at low HP. I mean, that's just kind of a waste of time, just getting XP, um, because I'll easily get these stats by time I train Slayer a bit and, uh, boss a bit. Um, another green hatchet. Um, so... It's really kind of a waste in my eyes to go train that, unless I'm going for 200 mil, which I'm never going to get 200 mil in a stat um, anytime soon at least. I don't know if I would get a 200 mil stat, what it would be in. Um, probably something that's fast, but I doubt I will be. Um, I want to get max cape, but I don't know if it's going to be possible for me to get max cape before I have to go and stop playing games and things like that because I'm really busy with college and things. But When I'm in college, I'll definitely still play RuneScape, but it just will not be even close to as much as I'm playing now. And just, I need to get a job because I have a car, so that's going to decrease my playtime also during the weekend, which I'm not happy about, let's just say that. Um, so that's going to be bad. And I'm not trying to make more videos for you guys, I know I haven't been making them, and there's not that many active subscribers for me at the moment. But for the people who still watch my videos, thank you. Um, please leave a like so that it'll let me know how many people actually still enjoy my videos, and... Um, please go follow my Twitch TV. If you don't have a Twitch TV account, I highly recommend making one because while you're AFKing skills in RuneScape, you can watch someone doing that's more fun in RuneScape, like bossing, um, uh, staking, P PKing, I don't know, whatever it will be that you want to watch. Um, like you're doing Herblore, you don't want to just sit there and watch yourself doing Herblore. If you're out of YouTube videos or something like that, you can go watch a Twitch TV, which is live in the moment. You can comment and they can see your comments and things like that, so it's, it's a pretty good community. Um... So be sure to go to my stream, um, follow it. To follow when you follow someone's stream, you're notified by email when they start streaming. But you can disable that if you really don't want that to happen. Um, you can just go to Twitch and see who's currently streaming by clicking on follow, following at the moment, and things like that. Um, so hopefully, you guys will go check out my Twitch TV if you're still interested in my videos or my content. And, um, yeah, so I will see you guys later. I know this was a pretty short video, but I really don't have anything other than this to talk about. I don't want to ramble on. Ooh, task completed. Alright, so that's also a good note to end off on, finishing a slayer task. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please come back. If you quit RuneScape, just come back and try it. Like, if you don't like one thing about it, let me know about it, and I'll tell you why you might not like it. Because at the beginning of EOC, I really hated EOC. I didn't want EOC to come out. I was on the borderline of quitting, but my friend told me to go try a couple of different things other than just what I did. 
I did a really slow slayer task or something, and it was this bad, and I hated it. And then I tried out momentum and a couple things, and I, I enjoyed, and then I started using abilities. I learned what all the abilities did, and it made everything faster, and I started enjoying it. I started um, not needing to look at my ability bar when I do things anymore, and it just made it a lot faster and enjoyable. And I started liking EUC more than I liked the old combat system. Um, and I started bossing and things like that afterward, and then I got really good at bossing. I was able to start beating Com Capers at bossing, um, which is kind of, uh, I don't know, he had overloads, he had a uh, Steel Titan, he had the same gear as us, but he had a, um, what are those things called, Sir Domin's Whisper, which I didn't have. He had um, a little bit more high crit than me, so he could he had the edge on me, plus he had a Steel Titan, and I had a Unicorn, so I still beat him, which means that I have better EOC knowledge than some Max Capers and Com Capers out there. Um, they just need to learn... It's not based on like who can click faster now. It's basically based on who can, who knows the abilities and things like that. Obviously, with Nex, it's still fast clicking. You can't just go to Nex and expect to be good because you know you have some EOC knowledge um, and things like that. So, um, I hope you guys come back and try EOC out. If you don't enjoy EOC, just message me on on YouTube and things like that why you don't enjoy it. I'm really interested to see in some of the reasons why people are quitting. Um, there's not that many people quitting. There's still a majority of the people still on RuneScape. There are only a few, uh, select few who quit, and most of those people who quit were PKers that basically PKed on RuneScape for fun only, and they didn't really like anything else. I understand that point of view completely, because they PKed only, and they're not good at PKing anymore. They don't like PKing anymore. Um, I understand that completely. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons that a lot of the people actually quit, because they only PKed. Um, and I enjoy that. I, um... I completely understand that, but I don't PK. I've never PK'd. I haven't PK'd since at least those seven, um, and things like that. So, I hope you guys enjo have enjoyed this video. Oh, and I also got a Kylan cape since last video. I think um, Kylan. I got that before USC came out. Um, it's a lot easier now. I got a couple of Onyxes since then. So when USC came out, I got a couple, um, a couple uh, Onyxes for a little bit of money, and I spent that on prayer. The rest of that on prayer. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video, um, and I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later. I just did two outros. Yeah. Pro status. <laughs>